guys, I am Matt Najad, and today I'm going to be talking about rubber dam and isolation. This is one of my favorite topics, and I'm excited to share this with you. So what is isolation? That's the first question, and you need to understand what it is and why it's so important. Isolation basically refers to keeping the tooth clean and dry while we're working on it. If you think of any surgery that's done in hospitals and so on, your whole body is draped to keep the area clean, contamination free, except for the area that you're being operated on. And the rubber dam is our equivalent to that in dentistry. It keeps saliva out of the way, it keeps blood out of the way, it keeps your tongue and anything that can touch the tooth because all that moisture is a problem and I'm going to discuss that more. There are a lot of different ways to get isolation but most of them are inadequate. We've had dentists over the years that use a couple cotton rolls, of course, using the suction to you know, get water and saliva. Those are all methods of isolation, but they're not good methods. That brings us to two really good methods, and then my favorite one. We have the rubber dam over here on the left side, and then on the right side, we have something called the Isolite, which is a brand. There's a couple other companies that make something similar, and this is basically a mouthpiece that suctions, keeps the tongue out of the way. So I'll show you that. The rubber dam is by far the best, cleanest, most effective way of isolating the tooth. It involves a piece of latex or nitrile, and you punch holes in it, you put it over the teeth, and then the tongue, the gums, everything stays behind. It's very safe, it's very secure. Isolite is a special suction that goes inside your mouth with a special mouthpiece over here, and your tongue stays behind it. It suctions. Some models of it have a light, but that's not that important because I have a light that I wear on my glasses. But the problem with Isolite, even though it works pretty well, is that there's still possibility of moisture, bleeding, and so on from around the gums because it doesn't keep those away. And a lot of the times we're working near the gums, so it becomes very important. So depending on the case, this would be my second choice. And why is this isolation so important? That if the tooth is covered in blood, saliva, moisture, or anything like that, then it won't stick as strongly. In other words, it will weaken our bond to the tooth. And since everything comes down to how well we can bond to the tooth, it becomes so important to do that. But in traditional dentistry, which was the old way of doing things, it was less important because instead of sticking to the tooth, you were shaving more tooth away and that's how you're holding on. I don't want to shave more tooth structure away and most of my patients don't want us to remove more tooth structure. So it becomes very important that we have a effective way of sealing and bonding to the tooth that doesn't result in weak bonds and that's where isolation comes into play. Advantages of isolation include it keeps the tooth dry, it prevents saliva, blood, and fluids from coming into the picture, and then it also protects you as a whole, including your gums, your tongue, your cheeks, all these things, you know, anything can happen when we're working on your teeth. So if your tongue comes close, it can get cut. When we're getting close to your gums, they can become irritated. So the rubber dam really helps minimize all those things. And it also prevents you from inhaling whatever it is remo we're removing. Let's say we're taking a silver filling or a mercury filling out you don't want to be exposed to that stuff. So this prevents you from ingesting, swallowing, and being exposed to that um, metal when we're cutting a crown off, if we're taking an old filling out, all these particles, it really cuts down on how much you're exposed to, which is a very important, significant difference. You look at the rubber dam and we can do rubber dam most of the time. There's only a few scenarios where it's just not physically possible. And you know, you have the piece of rubber dam, you can tie floss around the tooth, you can use these special clamps. I wanna stress that the rubber dam is not painful. You are numb and when you're placed on, it doesn't hurt. And even the clamp, it's clamping on the tooth. It's not actually, you know, pinching the gums or anything like that, you might be a little bit sore from the procedure, but the whole goal is to have the best result that lasts the longest. If that's with the rubber dam, it's going to be almost guaranteed. And it just gives us such a clean working environment. Here's a few different examples. Here's a tooth before we've started working on anything. So as we remove the silver filling, none of that is going to be swallowed or ingested. It's just a clean environment. 
Um, this is for some veneer and onlay cementations. You can see how clean there is. There's no blood, just a perfect, perfect. We cannot get this type of environment without the use of a rubber dam. There's always saliva, humidity, there's something that's going on. Why doesn't everybody use the rubber dam? That's an important question. Well, I already mentioned that in traditional dentistry, the Me the method that your restoration is done in doesn't rely on adhesion. If you're doing a crown, for example, you can just as easily shave more tooth and put the crown on and it'll stay on for different reasons than adhesion, but it's still, in my opinion, very important to even bond those. But if you're doing traditional dentistry, you might not care. One of the big things I hear is that it takes a lot of time so dentists don't want to do it. And the truth is it takes a lot of time at first, but when you get good at it, it's very quick and it actually saves time because the whole procedure goes more smoothly when we don't have to fight blood, saliva, and all those things. And then another one right here is some one that I can relate to. People, including basically dentists, we fear that patients won't tolerate this and they won't like it. But the reality is I've been doing this for 10 years now and not only do patients love it, most of them prefer it. There's only a few patients that find it a little bit uncomfortable. And I always offer, we can do it with Isolite, we can do it this way. But when people understand that this is for their benefit, it's not to make things easier for me, they don't have a problem with it. People tend to care about quality and they want what's best for them, even if it means a little bit of a different process. So I can't really relate to this, but I do know that dentists fear that their patients might not tolerate that. So they have your best interest in mind, but the reality is using the rubber dam is something that most patients will tolerate and even prefer. So I don't think it's a good argument. Okay, so this concludes my section on the rubber dam and isolation. I hope you understand how important isolation is for pretty much all dentistry, but extremely important in biomimetic dentistry, which relies on adhesion. And the rubber dam is the best method of isolation. It's not painful. And I highly recommend all your work be done. I would only do that for myself. Thank you for tuning in. I'm very excited to be sharing all this information with you. Please stay tuned for our next courses and we'll see you again.